Um, I'm doing a, a series on the sensors on the Google Nexus 7 second generation tablet, uh, 2013 Google's uh, latest 7 inch tablet that I've been playing around with. Um, designed by Google, uh, manufactured by Asus. So um, I just want to show you guys how how the compass reacts um, to the the tablet itself. Um, I got a little trick that I do with a pair of headphones, um, which have a magnet in it. I mean, you could probably use any type of magnet. You know, just know when you try this, you may have to uninstall the app and recalibrate um, the app or turn your tablet off and, and restart it because it can kind of confuse the sensors. But let's go ahead and I'll, I'll show you what I did and what I downloaded for the compass review. Um, it's called Smart Compass and it's in the uh, Google Play Store. So I'm signed into my Google Play account here. You just want to go in the Google Play Store. And um, you want to go to Apps. And I'm going to go up here and, and search for Compass. Okay, so there you get a bunch of different different ones you can choose from. I picked the first one. Um, I know they have one right here down a little further called Smart Compass Pro, which comes with uh, GPS um, in it and some other features. Um, I may go ahead and buy that uh, later on once I'm done exploring the uh, Smart Compass free version, which is basically giving me a, like a magnetic north as opposed to a true north. Um, which you need GPS to actually to get that. So uh, go ahead and click on it. You know, and like you can pick any one you want. Um, I just want to review this one and, and I'm just doing this for purposes of the sensor down here to show you that it, it reacts to the magnetic field. Um, so click install. As you can see, it's uh, installing. Done. Just that quick. So going back to my home screen, and it pops right up. I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to my home screen where I have all my apps, and I'm going to drop it in my tools folder. So go in there and open the Compass app up. Let's see. As you can see, it's transparent right now. I've, it's actually utilizing the camera. Um, to save on battery power and for the purposes of the video, I'm going to disable uh, the camera. So up here at the top on this app, there's a menu. You can go into your, you know, go into settings and turn off uh, background use with the, with the camera. And then uh, basically go back into the app here. So there you can see, there you can see the app spinning around and working. Um, so this is Smart Compass that I downloaded. And what I'm going to show you is um, we're going to watch the, the magnetic field here. And I think I'm pretty sure that like the number there, 31, the number it's jumping around here where my thumb is, is micro Tesla. So it has something to do with the Earth, the Earth's normal magnetic field. Um, that number really should be, I think it's between like 30 and 70, but uh, more precisely, probably like around 50. So um, as I move this thing further away from my camera that I'm using to actually make this video, and I, I also have a, a stand that I'm using that's magnet, magnetic. So you can, it's already was picking up interference there. The lower that number goes, the weaker the weaker it gets. So that's not good. You want that to be in the green. Somewhere around 49 or 50 to be as accurate as you can. But what I'm going to show you is if you take a pair of headphones, you know, if you want to see if, if your um, tablet's reacting to, to the compass, just a normal headphone here has a magnet in it. I'm going to switch hands here and I'm going to run over here on the edge opposite of up here where my thumb is. There's a camera. Um, on the tablet. It's at the opposite end. So you can see, like, I'll pull a little closer here. If I take this thing and get it close, I mean, look what it does to that magnetic field. Okay. 
and I've tried to run this thing all around the pad. So it's somewhere down in here your sensors are and they, they're working. So in order to use this, you know, you want to calibrate it. And uh, in here, under menu, there's a nice manual. And it actually explains how to use this particular compass. It's pretty handy. It gets you started on uh, how to use it and what to do. You can change from uh, portrait mode to landscape mode, which is pretty cool. Um, my magnetic field's actually in really good, really good numbers there. So I know mine's working pretty good. And that's what you should notice though. You should be able to take something over here and get some type of react reaction. Make sure, you know, you don't, I don't know if I mentioned it. I may have at the beginning of the video, just make sure you do not have this thing in a case. You just want to have it out in an area where there's nothing around. And um, you want to hold it up to the sky and do what I'm going to do right now. And you want to do like a figure eight pattern with it, you know, eight to 10 times to uh, calibrate it. And it says to do so in the manual for this particular one, which I think that's what you do for a majority of them. So there I just did a figure eight pattern. I know, I know mine's working pretty accurately. So yours should be really similar to this. Again, it, you know, the developer says not to rely on it 100% uh, for precise location, but for basic navigation, which is, which is pretty, pretty fair to say. And uh, so there you go. Um, just a little video to show you that, you know, take, take some headphones or something, some type of magnet, and, you know, you should see something going on here. Shows you um, that there is a sensor in there and it's working and it's, it's reacting to the compass. So um, I'm not going to play around with it too much more. I still got to go in and use it and explore, you know, explore with it a little bit. I know if you hold it flat, you get the needle gauge there. So... Um, in the, uh, real quick in the manual, it does show you those different colors, like what green means, what blue means, what red means. You know, if your level's too high, there's a metal object nearby. I mean, so far from what I've used, um, of this compass app, it's, uh, really accurate to the manual. So make sure you read the manual before you are like, you know, Hey, this thing doesn't work. Just make sure you take your time with it. Go through it thoroughly. Cause I think they did a pretty good job on it. And again, this is the free version. So if you want to download the pro version, you have to pay 99 cents. You could just click pro and it'll take you right to it. But you can go through here and see what's new and what, like what's included with the pro version. So that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching my video and I uh, hope you guys go in and play around with the compass a little bit and play around with the, the sensors there on your tablet. Um, thanks for watching my video and I hope you guys like it and give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to make more videos, so appreciate you watching and, uh, have a good one. Thanks.